OK Go obviously had a huge monster video with Here It Goes Again. Um, so just tell, tell me about your experience with that. Actually, I've only been with OK Go for the last six months or so, um, and that video was obviously a few years ago now. But that was really their first just smashing hit, right? You know, that sort of 50 million views with that video right now. These sorts of viral videos are really what have put OK Go on the map, right? I mean, they were never a huge seller in terms of, of album sales or sort of global recognition. But you tell anybody, oh, I work for OK Go. Who? Oh, the, the treadmill video. Oh, yeah, okay. Everybody knows, you know, sort of what you're talking about with that. It was obviously a, a huge door opener for them. They then toured for sort of 31 months on the success of that. They won a, a, a Grammy for the thing. It became clear to them that this is something that they really enjoy doing. You know, they see these videos um, as part of their creative outlet uh, as much as any of their albums or any of their live performances. There's this problem uh, for a lot of bands signed to a lot of major labels, which is that the major labels have struck a monetization deal with YouTube where uh, they get sort of a higher view rate in, in terms of money that they receive in exchange for the videos being non-embeddable, which means that no blogger can embed it in his blog. And there's also a lot of geo restrictions on these videos, which means that a lot of OK Go's fans in other countries, a lot of parts of Europe can't watch the videos at all. I didn't have a whole lot of experience with the major label business but before I started working with these guys and this kind of blew my mind. I mean this was a band who like we said had made you know all of their success from you know going viral and just being able to have everybody have their content and suddenly you know I'm here trying to help them with their new video to go viral and you know they can't embed it. I mean people don't go to YouTube as much as YouTube is amazing people don't go there to find the videos they want to watch their friends tell them about it on Facebook or they share it on Twitter or that you know you have you know five or six or ten or fifteen blogs that you go to every day and those are the tastemakers those are the people that you trust uh, to tell you about the cool things and a blogger isn't gonna blog about your cool video if they can't embed it in their site you know we struggled with that for a while the second video came out which is also for this two shall pass it's the Notre Dame marching band video you know again same problem and so you know I, I spoke with the band and said look you know I think you guys are probably the most uniquely qualified band in the world to kind of talk out about this issue. I mean, that you know, you really did make a lot of your success with these videos. This is a problem that's, that's complicated. It's not just the, like, uh, the labels are bad guys and they're not letting us do it. It's not as easy as that. You know, we, we had Damien write an, an open letter to the fans, and that letter kind of went viral in its own right. I mean, we have 200,000 views on this obscure sort of message board post uh, from Damien, which is, a, you know, a really sort of clear and articulate uh, letter explaining the problem, which, you know, fans really appreciated hearing. When it came time around for this third video off the album to come out, you know, this video was sponsored by State Farm Insurance. They had no interest in monetizing its playability on YouTube. They were basically investing in this video, you know, as advertising for themselves. So it was contractually written out that, you know, we could embed this video. The video would be on our website, on State Farm Insurance's website. So we were able to, to embed this. So it was sort of this narrative arc of this third video is, oh, it's embeddable. It was seen as sort of a victory for embedding and, and sort of um, bands being able to reach their fans. So in terms of what, what can you do to make something go viral, yes, the video has to be awesome. And the video is fantastic. I mean, the band makes my job very easy. But it was sort of on the heels of this story that we had been building up over three or four or five months of, we can't embed, isn't this terrible? Oh, you know, here's the letter about why. Here's the New York Times op-ed piece about why. Yes, victory, now go watch it. And so, you know, some people were watching it almost, you know, as a celebration of that as well. Then a week after this video came out, they announced that they were parting ways with EMI. So this is sort of the final part of this story uh, so far anyway. And now they can do whatever they want with their content. That's it. Rent it. Film it. That's a wrap.